Hello. How are you? you? I'm good, thanks. Very good to see you. Thank you. They're going crazy, those wild people. We give them a little devil dog cake on the way in, and the sugar <laughs> rush makes them nutty. So it's nice to see you. It's very nice to meet you. I've been a fan of yours for a long time. You're very kind. Thank you. Well, it's the truth. I even have a Harrison Ford book. Yeah. Did you know about this book? No. You did? <laughs> it's got everything about you in here. Uh-huh. I think a lot of it's true. I, let's find out. Well, there was one thing on page 141 that struck my interest. Uh -huh. Despite his ability to continue filming action sequences after you were hurt, to cheer him up, the production company orchestrated an elaborate prank. During a key sequence in which Harrison is chained up, Barbara Streisand <laughs> was ushered onto the set dressed in a kinky leather outfit, brandishing a whip. <laughs> yes or no? Yes. <laughs> I love her. But what about the rest of the story? <laughs> that was the part I focused on because I'm a little okay. obsessed with Miss Streisand. <laughs> you are? Yeah, I, uh. I enjoy her very much. Well. She hasn't done my show yet. No? no. Well, I, don't, I don't know her very well. Oh, well, I'll do what I can for you. You will? Give me a high five on that Clearly. one, Harrison. Thank you so much. <laughs> now, I know that you're not really a big fan of doing interviews. Oh, I'm glad to be here. You are? Yeah, yeah sure. Yeah, good. That's yeah. nice to know. You live in Jackson Hole, Wyoming. Not a big place to get interviewed. No. No? No. <laughs> I love it there. I go skiing there. Do you? Yeah. I've, I've, uh, I've not seen you there. Do you ski? Yeah. 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 So yeah. There's a lot of black runs there. Very hard skiing there. Are you an expert skier? Well, I can do the blues or the blue blacks, but not really the blacks only. Good. How well, about you? How I don't do the blacks either. No. No, my knees are pretty much shot. Yeah. Do your kids ski too? Yeah, beautifully. Yeah. yeah. You like living up there? You have a big ranch, right? It's a piece of property. We don't really uh, grow cows there, so I don't call it a ranch. No. But, uh, Just a house in the woods. It's a house in the woods and a very nice house and very nice woods, indeed. Did you grow up in a farm-like woody environment? No, I grew up in Chicago. Oh, really? So I had a... Can you get a ride home? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you grew up in Chicago, and when did you fall in love with, the, like, the wilderness? Well, I always, uh, I, I, my family would often take trips uh, to the country for vacations, and I always loved it, always wanted to, uh, to live in the woods, and when I got a chance, I did, yeah. moved. Did you always want to be an actor, too, when you were growing up in Chicago? No, I never thought about it until I was uh, almost finished with my college uh, career, and then I realized that everyone was going to go away and take a job, and... Uh, and I didn't really want a real job. No. No. Me either. No. So, Hard. Well, that's what I thought. So I decided to be an actor. Yeah. And you got actually signed to like a development deal at a studio? I didn't know that there was. No, I had. Uh, I was signed to a, what they called a new talent contract. Uh, I, I, the first time I was ever on, in a studio, I walked into somebody's office, and they offered me um, a, a contract for seven years, at one hundred fifty dollars a week for the first year. Wow, big money. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you all, saw, the, did you all sign the respect it? that that implies as well. <laughs> and uh, and I, I signed it, yeah, because uh, I didn't even know what the names of the other studios were. I was going to take whatever I could get. And where did they see you to give you this? This was at Columbia. They, they, they saw you in a play the, or something? Uh, somebody had recommended me from a play that I did in Laguna Beach. But that was it. I, I, and I was then under contract. and. Um, and I didn't work for 15 years. Seriously? Seriously, until uh, until uh, um, American Graffiti really came along. I did a few episodic TV things, but uh, nobody uh, wanted to use anybody. They were paying $150 a week. No. To, no. And you sang in American Graffiti. Yes, I did. You did. Yeah. <laughs> You probably don't get a chance to watch this show, but I enjoy an occasional song. Do you? <laughs> and I believe we have a clip of you singing, I think, in American Graffiti. Take a look. I think we have it. I'm pretty sure. Long and sunny evening, you will see a stranger. You will see a stranger. 
across the crowded room. That's some brilliant work. Now, was that actually in the script to do a little South Pacific in there? No. No? no. George said, sing something to her. Yeah. And that's, that's, <laughs> that's all I could think of. Are you a big fan of musical theater? I, I did a couple musicals when I was in, uh, in did summer stock in, What'd you do? in college. Oh, I did the Fantastics, and I did Three Penny Opera, and I did uh, Damn Yankees, and uh, Dark of the Moon. And really? The usual. John knows all of those. Does he? Yeah. <laughs> just saying. Just, uh, I'm just saying, I don't want to pressure or anything, but no. you know, maybe after the commercial, you might want to. No pressure, no pressure. Forget it, no pressure. Listen, he knows Barbara Streisand, he's hooking me up. Don't pressure the man, all right? Uh, Devil's Own is the new film. We're going to talk about it right after this break. We'll be back. Empire Strikes Back. Can you believe the re-release? Can you believe the, how successful it is in re-release? No, I can't. No. <laughs> I, I'm delighted. Yeah. I, I'm glad people are still interested. Do they have to ask you guys if, if they could do it, or they just can do it because it's theirs? No. They don't have to ask you. No, they don't have to. No. It's paid for. Uh, they can do it at whatever they want. That's it? Yeah. Yeah. They can show it anywhere? Yes. Yeah. It's a great movie, great series. I mean, everyone loved them. The lunch boxes, the little Star Wars kits, the banks. <laughs> I have them all. <laughs> R2-D2, C-3PO. I got everything. I'm a collector of stuff. Uh -huh. Look what else I got. This is Bramley New Issued. The new one. So, uh, there it is. That's you. Did you Have you seen this? It's a re-release. It's brand new. Doesn't look anything like No. That. Actually, we'll show it to the camera. It looks like Vinnie Barbarino. Yeah. From Welcome back, Carter, doesn't it? A little bit like John Travolta. Hey. Oh. There it is. Yeah. So, um, your wife wrote E.T. She did. How about that? Yeah. Talent all over the family. <laughs> Probably my favorite, one of my favorite movies of all time. Mm -hmm. She lives, uh, writes up in Jackson Hole, I take it. That's where the family is. She, yeah. Yeah. She, she goes into the farm area no. with a computer. <laughs> we live uh, here as well. Our kids are in school here. Oh, really? Uh, for this, uh, this year, last year. And I read that you love motorcycles. You did. Because I love motorcycles. Do you? Yeah, I have two. Do you ride? Yes, yeah. I do. What do you ride? I have a Honda Magna, mm -hmm. and I have a Suzuki Intruder. Ah, wow. How about you? I have uh, more than two. Oh. <laughs> More than Whatever. Two. No. What, what kind do you have? Harleys? I've got a couple of Harleys. Couple of Harleys. Yeah. yeah. Got I've, any Hondas? I have a couple of Hondas. Yeah. <laughs> got any Suzuki's? No. No. Yamaha's? No. All righty. Good. <laughs> and in Jackson Hole, do they have the helmet law? Yes. Yeah. Because I learned in LA where there was no helmet law. Yeah, and then it's right. hard to get used to. You gotta wear the helmet, though. Gotta right? wear it. Gotta wear the helmet. Gotta wear it. Exactly. Helmet. Sure. Your new film opens today. It does. The Devil's Own with Brad Pitt, an awfully cute guy. You play a cop in this. Yes. And did you have to research this being a uniformed cop? It's your first time doing that, isn't it? I spent about 10 or 12 nights out riding around with uh, various New York City police officers, trying right. to get a you know, real detail about what they do, how they do it. Did you see any big crime things? Uh, small crime things. Really? Yeah. Yeah, that must be scary. Were you scared? Um, no. I had confidence in the people I was with. Do they make you stay in the car? Do they let you get out? No, they let me get out. They do? Do they yeah. give you a gun? Uh, <laughs> just a little a gun. A little gun? <laughs> <laughs> but you probably had a lot of them, right? <laughs> All over. And uh, um, was this a fun experience, this film? Because I read there was a little bit of it was hard. craziness. It was hard. Yeah. It wasn't crazy. There wasn't craziness. It was just a, a, a lack of, uh, of uh, script. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what you need. <laughs> it's one of the basic tools of filmmaking. We, we, uh, we had part of our script, and we had an outline, and we were working on it as, as we were making it. And that accounts for most of uh, the stories you've heard. But I'm pleased with the final result, and I think uh, it, it worked out well. Yeah, I, I've heard great things about it. I can't Thanks. wait to go see it. Good. It, it opens today. It's the, the Devil's Own. Harrison Ford, it's lovely to meet you. Well, thank you. Thanks thank for you. being here. And if you Pleasure. ever have the desire to come back or to call Miss Streisand and tell her how much fun you had. Uh -huh. <laughs> Take a coach ball home. Just do it. All right? Because okay. I just want to. Harrison Ford. We'll be right back with Andy.